Yeah, next topic is to use electrochemical cells as a chemical probes. Okay. It is essential to distinguish two classes of equilibria in galvanic cell. Okay. Equilibrium first one is equilibrium between the two half cells and second equilibrium within each half cell. Okay. Oh, let's consider uh, this rather uh, you know seemingly uh, complicated reaction here. Okay. Uh, you know, someone set up this electrochemical cell. Okay, let's consider one by one. Uh, on the right hand side, yeah, this is uh, a cathode, and then uh, you know, silver metal and coated with silver chloride is inserted in a solution containing uh, potassium chloride. And on the left beaker, and uh, this one is what? Uh, this is uh, uh, the platinum electrode and the hydrogen uh, gas now uh, is uh, provided uh, provided to the platinum and uh, the pressure of hydrogen gas is one bar okay this is uh, kind of uh, standard uh, hydrogen electrode if the uh, proton concentration in this uh, solution is one molar okay or activity is one molar but unfortunately, the, uh, the solution composition uh, is very complicated, okay, here. The solution contains acetic acid, whose concentration is 0 0.05 molar, and uh, also it contains sodium acetate. The concentration is 0 0.005 molar, okay? So, proton concentration here, uh, it, we don't know, okay? And then uh, this uh, uh, this figure can be written uh, by this uh, notation, okay? Line notation. Platinum first one, and there is a uh, phase boundary and uh, hydrogen gas, and or, or another phase boundary. And this is the uh, composition of the solution. Okay, acetic acid, and the concentration is this one, 0 0.05 molar, and sodium acetate. The concentration is 0 0.005 molar, and then the salt bridge double bar here, and then chloride ion concentration is 0 0.1 molar, and then silver chloride, and another phase boundary, although the same uh, solid, but they are different one. So there is another phase boundary, silver uh, metal. Okay. So now what is the question? The question is to uh, calculate uh, this acetic acid dissociation constant. Okay, acetic acid dissociation constant. You know, acetic acid mm, dissociates to produce proton and acetate. Okay, so so far mm, we uh, we considered acetic acid is a weak acid. Okay. And the beauty of this uh, of electrochemistry is to calculate you know, the dissociation constant of this acetic acid. Okay, so, so the same principle can be applied to other uh, weak acid. Okay, let's let's consider one by one. Okay, let's consider first uh, you know, the, this uh, right reactions okay, here. Yeah. this one. Uh, let me see. Uh, on the right hand, yeah, this uh, silver chloride undergoes this uh, dissociation. Mm -hmm. okay, this is case P. And electrochemically, silver chloride accepts one electron to become silver metal and chloride ion. And we already know that this uh, standard reduction potential is 0 0.22 volt. Okay. And uh, on the left hand side, this one, uh, this acetate. Acetic acid dissociates into acetate and proton. Okay. All right. What is the uh, now? What is the uh, uh, electrochemical reaction on, uh, on the left hand side? Hmm? Acetic acid dissociation is not a electrochemical reaction. Okay, because it doesn't have any electrons here. But here, this one, proton. You see, uh, no, accept two electrons to become hydrogen gas. This is the uh, left hand side electrochemical reaction okay and the total reaction 
uh, and then we measured yeah, measured the cell potential and which is 0 0.503 volts okay and we set up the analysis uh, equation for the, uh, the total reaction yeah so uh, the cell potential e equals you no know, the cathode reaction uh, cathode potential minus another potential and then we write you know, the analysis equation for each uh, reaction which is 0 0.222 minus here 0.05916 log and chloride ion concentration for the cathode reaction and and minus here uh, the left hand side since this one is e0 value is a zero zero minus 0 0.0916 okay divided by two if we uh, put two electrons here and then log and then this one uh, hydrogen gas pressure yeah divided by proton concentration squared right okay and let's keep going and this one cell potential is measured here which is 0 0.503 volt equals here since there is only one variable which is proton concentration here okay so by solving this one we get proton concentration is 1.8 times 10 to minus 4 molar okay oh now the rest is straightforward okay now we can uh, evaluate the equilibrium constant for acid base reaction here this is uh, the definition of uh, uh, dissociation constant of uh, acetic acid and here uh, this one acetate concentration yeah, is 0 0.05 molar here yeah. it's already given here okay oh okay here and then acetate concentration is 0 0.005 molar and then we calculate the proton concentration here and then we get the dissociation constant of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to minus 5 yeah this is you know exactly the same as uh, the table value okay so from this by constructing this simple electrochemical cell and then we can calculate the equilibrium constant of acetic acid in other words this electrochemical cell can be used as a chemical probe to determine equilibrium constant by putting reaction of interest in the left hand cell okay okay this is very beautiful okay so uh, electrochemical principles can be applied mm, even to uh, get uh, this equilibrium constant okay otherwise uh, to get uh, ka is not not easy okay okay next example is a rather complicated one okay but you know uh, if you follow me mm, and then uh, you may have any difficulties to understand uh, this example okay uh, let's consider this uh, uh, this uh, electric chemical cell left hand side is uh, same Okay, and uh, you know, here is the standard hydrogen electrode. In other words, the proton activity here is one, uh, one molar, right? Uh, so simply we uh, we write SHE instead of writing, you know, the, the uh, 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 this way, okay? And then on the uh, right hand side, you know, the uh, electrode is what mercury, okay, mercury. Uh, not metal this is a uh, uh, liquid metal mercury okay and to connect uh, to make an electrical connect uh, we use platinum uh, you know this metal mm -hmm. you cannot use gold metal because you know gold is dissolved in mercury okay mm -hmm. to make an amalgam gold amalgam okay? but mercury uh, the platinum metal doesn't is not dissolved in mercury so now let's put uh, platinum metal here then it is connected to the uh, this voltmeter okay and then you uh, measured the potential difference is plus 0 0.342 volt okay but composition of the uh, this uh, this beaker is 50 milliliters of 0 0.01 molar mercury chloride and 40 milliliters of 0 0.05 molar EDTA 
wow, and 10 milliliters of buffer. Hmm? The pH is maintained at 6. Okay. The question is to find the Kf value for mercury EDTA complex. Okay. Wow, hmm? this uh, uh, this uh, the problem uh, seems quite uh, difficult. Okay, but uh, let's do it step by step. The first step is the left hand uh, what uh, cell is SHG, so the potential here is zero. Okay. In the right hand cell, uh, mercury has two oxidation states here. Okay? First, you have to identify uh, the electrode uh, reaction. Okay. But mercury here, uh, the divalent mercury ion, accepts two electrons to become mercury. Okay. This one, a liquid mercury. Why? Look at that. Uh, the mercury he here, and then this is mercury chloride, uh, the, uh, the oxidation state of mercury chloride is divalent. So you have to write uh, this HEP reaction. And from the, uh, the appendix, uh, we find the standard reduction potential for this reaction is 0 0.852 volt here, right? And then we can write. Uh, the HEP cell reaction, uh, uh, the, the Nernst equation, and it is given by this one, okay? The pure liquid, uh, you know, this concentration doesn't appear uh, in the Nernst equation, okay? And the question is how to express uh, this mercury ion concentration in terms of this EDTA complex, okay? The adequate EDTA uh, equation is this one, mercury, you know, divalent mercury, uh, plus EDTA 4 minus Y4 minus becomes HG mercury EDTA complex okay for this one we know the KF value yeah how do you know from the the table okay and you'll see this uh, KF value is very large how large let me see uh, KF value here let me see uh, let's see Oh, I'm sorry, huh? You know, <laughs> this is our target, okay? Our target is to uh, calculate uh, the KF value, okay? Uh, let, uh, let's do one by one. Anyway, here, uh, let's uh, look at the uh, composition uh, again. And EDTA is a very, very good complexing agent. And it makes one to one complex with any, virtually any metal ion, okay? Here, mercury uh, EDTA makes uh, uh make a, you know the mercury ion complex mm? so here this this concentration mercury edta complex uh, the concentration is what the total volume is 100 milliliters and then what is the uh, uh this one uh, uh, this uh, this moles yeah and it is determined by what by this mercury chloride moles right because EDTA moles is much higher than the mercury chloride moles, okay? So mercury, uh, not this one, and this uh, mercury ion concentration is what? This volume multiplied by concentration, 50 times 0 0.01, yeah, which is 0 0.5 millimole, okay? And then concentration is 0 0.005 molar, okay? And then remaining EDTA concentration is what? The number of uh, EDTA moles here is that uh, 40 times 0 0.05, which is 2 millimoles. And then already uh, 0 0.5 millimoles of EDTA is used to make a complex with this mercury ion. And then remaining EDTA concentration is given by this one. Yeah, and which is 0 0.0150 molar, okay? Yeah, and very small on, uh, amount of mercury ion concentration, right? Because uh, this one, uh, the reverse reaction uh, produces this mercury ion, right? But that concentration is extremely small, okay? Let's keep going. Kf, definition of Kf is given by this one. And then using a uh, alpha value, Instead of this y4 minus, and then we can write it this way. And uh, since pH is already given, which is pH 6, 
okay uh, let me see where is the PHC 6 uh, here yeah right PHC 6 and at PHC 6 alpha value is already known right uh, and which is 1.8 times 10 to minus 5 okay yeah here so uh, this one mercury we already know that k for value yeah and mercury edt complex concentration and uh, alpha value and edt concentration and we can calculate yeah, the mercury uh, this one iron concentration all right how and then we hook up this one instead of this mercury iron concentration let me see yeah we uh, yeah this one let me see this uh, uh, cathode potential is given by this one and anode potential is zero and the total you know cell potential is uh, this one 0 0.342 volt yeah and then this one 0 0.3 oh, i'm sorry why, why, why is that yeah? Mm, zero point uh, three four two volt equals the difference here and it, it is given by uh, this equation yeah and then here we can calculate mercury ion concentration and then this one now hook up to uh, this equation and then we can calculate kf value right and then we get kf equals three times ten to uh, twenty one okay yeah, very large this is a very large value yeah, so ordinarily um tape you know, measurement is very very difficult okay <clears throat> because this mercury ion concentration is very small and here we calculated uh, this is 5.7 times 10 to minus 18 molar right but using this electrochemical cell right uh, it, it is rather easy to you know, uh, the measure this kf value okay yeah <clears throat> but you know I, 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 let me check yeah the whether uh, this value is really 0 0.331 or maybe 0 0.342 okay but uh, now let's uh, stop here